Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, Going to go into a custom leather craft store today. Had a couple friends who wanted uh, the boots. One of, one of my friends has ordered a couple pair of boots from uh, this place a couple of years ago and uh, real happy with them. And we'll show you how they do the fitting. Uh, they've got hats and belts and purses and bags, uh, pretty much holsters. Uh, pretty much anything that you could want. My friend ordered uh, boots and he ordered a vest and he bought a, a picked up a hat that he had custom made as well. Show you that hat here in a bit. M RJ Montering, I believe is the name. And uh, they're just on a side street off of uh, Ma close to Mango Square. Now there's a Jollibee right across the street, National Bookstore across the other street. And this is a little bit of what they make, uh, pretty much anything and everything that that you can want uh, made out of leather. They do a lot of repairs as well. Uh, some people brought in items uh, to get repaired while I was there. And uh, their other location is, I believe, uh, Gaisano Island Mall, I think it's called, over on Mactan Island. It's... Uh, it's the mall where the immigration service is in. Uh, I believe that's the name. But, uh, yeah, knife holsters and belt buckles. And uh, if you want something made out of leather, uh, wallets, purses, uh, pretty much they can do any of that stuff. That's going to take about two weeks to get his boot, boots and uh, his vest. R.J. Montering. Mantering is the uh, name of the company, and uh, kind of impressive how they go about measuring uh, for the boots, for the shoes, and I'll show you that here in a, a minute. Um, many different colors and types of leathers to choose from. Uh, they don't have them all at this location. They have some, some different uh, leathers at, uh, at their second location. And we'll take a look at how they uh, do the measurement of your foot. Uh, which is very important. Uh, you know, you go to a store and you buy something off the shelf. It's all all uh, cookie cutter type situations. They assume that everybody has basically the same foot. Of course, you can get a wider shoe, uh, things like that. But uh, here it is custom made. He does all the measurements. Uh, the expat that I met, I think he said he bought a pair here seven years ago, and I think he's bought a second pair. Uh, said that uh, you, many times boots, you, there's a break-in period. He said with these boots, there was no break-in period. They fit, they fit very well right away. Uh, of course, I don't know if that will happen 100% of the time with everything that uh, that is made. I have, uh, having been in the noise control and uh, business for many many years I uh, measured for custom-made noise blankets noise containment systems many times some that were flexible had to fit around certain types of equipment uh, so I understand very clearly that how critical it is to get your measurements uh, accurate and I also understand there's a lot of, of trial and error uh, early on when you're in a business like uh, like this. Um, once you cut, once you bend product, it, it's, uh, is it going to give? How much tolerance do you need? Interesting process. He's the uh, craftsman right there. Can I look at some of your leather? Can I look at some of your sample yeah. leather? Okay. Is that this here? Yes. This what? is a sample, but this one is for repair. This is for repair. Okay. Only this Sample leather. Okay. What what kinds of leather do it's you a have? Cowhide. Cowhide. Yeah. Okay. This is a cowhide. Oh, very soft. Yeah, there is a soft also. Oh, very very soft. Almost mm -hmm. like suede or something. Different colors. Yeah, different colors. All right. I have oh, oh. more there. Oh. All right. I have more there. All right. And you make keys also? Yes, sir. Oh, all these rolls? All these rolls of leather, huh? Yeah. This is all leather. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So black and uh, yellow, brown. Uh, I don't know what you call some of these colors. 
Wow, lots of choices. This I Dark blue, I think. Green, brown, blue, yellow, gray, medium blue, gray. Oh, lots of choices, huh? I have walked by this store a dozen times or more uh, and always thinking, I need to stop in there someday. And actually what led to me coming in here, I had, uh, had a couple friends who wanted to uh, come over here. A couple of them wanted to order new boots. Uh, and uh, my friend had wanted to order a vest and he bought a hat as well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very nice. What very do you nice think? Hat. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Pop that on your head. Yeah. Yeah. I think the uh, boots that he was having made were going to run him about 17,000 pesos. Um, and I think the vest that he was, he's a big, he's a really big guy. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of leather. <laughs> I think the vest was going to be 20,000 pesos uh, custom made uh, for the, with the, the measurements that he had there. And uh, the vest, very similar to that, just a different type of leather, different, I uh, got the pockets in the front. And, uh, yeah, anything and everything you can can imagine, they can make it. If it's out of leather, I guess. Uh, holsters for guns, I think they do a lot of work with the uh, police departments. And also uh, shoes, different types of shoes, boots, sandals. And I know I've had, I've had a number of shoes that I like the style and I bought them. And they were painful breaking in. So this might be a, might be a good way to go in the future. I've had I've had a number of uh, boots over the years, not not any in uh, in recent years, but uh, I know there are a lot of guys that uh, wear boots here. They like boots, so this would be a place to uh, get them custom made anyway. They had quite a number of things uh, that you could buy off the shelf if it was to your liking, like uh, uh, knife holsters, those types of things, and shoes. Um, they did ask for half the, the price, the cost down, down payment, which is uh, fair enough because uh, anytime you're making something custom, obviously it is, uh, it, it's not going to be a perfect fit for somebody else. This was my friend's second trip down to this store. They'd measured his foot previously, but he wanted to change the material, the colors of his boots. I want to show you where this place is at. There are many, many places in Cebu City and in, in the Philippines do not really have street addresses. They don't have numbered street address. Uh, so I'm gonna show you where this place is at. This is the storefront uh, and it's right across from Right across from a Jolly Bees uh, near Mango Square, and right next door is Tite's, which is kind of a very well-known uh, bakery. They've got a number of shops. Right across over there is Jolly Bees. Going that way is Fuente Osmina Circle, a couple blocks down there, and this is Mango, what's called Mango Avenue, and Mango Square just across the street over there. National Bookstore just across the street. And uh, just on the other corner across from National Bookstore is Burger King over there and the 7-Eleven as well. The price of these custom-made products obviously is going to depend upon uh, your requirements. And uh, like my friend there, uh, he wanted a lot of that fancy stitching and extra uh, designs on the sides of the boots, uh, the type of heel that he wanted. Um, all that type of stuff obviously uh, help determine the price involved. Anytime you order something custom, generally costs more than just walking into a store and, and buying a product uh, that is made with the cheapest labor that uh, the shoe factory can find. In fact, I think Vietnam has, has lots of uh, shoe factories over there. See a lot of things made in Vietnam as well as China. 
so any, anyway, that is uh, that is an option for you guys. Thanks for thanks for watching, coming along. Uh, hit the like button if you would. And I've got a bunch of videos coming up very soon, so I'll see you next time.